Man, I need a haircut and a shave. This is hideous. I mean, would you just look at me? Whoa. Dude, what happened? Wow. What's up everybody? As you can tell by the opening of this video, I shaved my head and I shaved my face. I've shaved my head many times recently, but my face, this is the first time I've shaved it down to the skin in I don't know how many years. And as you can see, my skin doesn't like it. <laughs> I got a razor burn like crazy. Holy cow, wow. So welcome to vlog number four. This is my fourth vlog. Can you believe that? Wow. So as an update to last weekend's vlog, this week was a really busy week at work. I was physically at my office and it seems like since this whole coronavirus thing's been going on and everybody's working from home, that instead of getting less done, there's a lot more being done and I have been busy. It was just non-stop conference calls, emails, text messages, video conferencing, and it was just crazy. I couldn't get anything done. It was so overwhelmingly busy. It just blew my mind. But anyways, I uh, decided since I'm supposed to stay at home the next two weeks for work, I decided to go ahead and just say screw it and ask for the two weeks off, and I got approved. So, I'm here at my house, and I'm gonna do a self-quarantine like the rest of the world, and I'm gonna try and stay home for the most part. I'm not gonna go anywhere, really. I'm gonna try my best to not go grocery shopping. Um, I'll probably have to get fuel because I do plan on taking a couple little local trips to do some, you know, videography and some photography, but my plan is to stay away from other humans. Where I plan on going, there's nobody. Um, there might be some traffic, there might be some cars going by, but there's really nothing. There's a lot of openness out here, so fortunately I can actually go and do stuff and still stay away from humanity, if you will. And so that's my plan. I'm hoping to do that this week. Unfortunately, the weather turned to crap. And as you can see by this video, last night was interesting. A storm rolled in, it started raining, and then it started snowing, and then you'll be able to see what I woke up to. So I hope you enjoyed this little montage. So as you can see, when I woke up, there was snow on the ground. Not much, but there was still snow on the ground. And as you can see here in this picture, it was 16 degrees when I woke up. And yeah, I did wake up at nine. <laughs> I slept in. And I tell you what, being off work has been nice. I've been doing a lot of relaxing. So my initial plan was to stay home all weekend, but my parents had been watching my dog, his name is Gunner, and uh, they've had him for quite a while, almost two months, because before this whole corona thing started, I had him there so they could watch him while I did a lot of travel for work. Well, all that travel got canceled, and so they ended up just watching him. As everything started closing and all this chaos started happening, they agreed to watch him, and he was fine there for quite a while. Well, as he hangs out away from me, he starts getting anxiety and he starts becoming a little butthead so fast forward to last weekend I get a text message on Sunday from my mother saying you need to come get your dog so of course I instantly call her up she said that it, it, it felt pretty obvious that he was missing me and he just didn't feel right and things weren't he was just a little off and so I figured it was about time because he's been there for like I said almost two months now so the plan was to go get him this weekend. So fast forward to Thursday, I decided to go ahead and ask for the time off for the next few weeks, got it approved, and I decided, you know, if I'm gonna do this whole self-isolation thing, then I need to get him first and then start it. So I did. So I coordinated with my parents, we met up in the middle of central Idaho at a gas station far away from people we still kept our distance it was just a common place and we just exchanged the dog we sat there kept our distance from each other and we sat there and just caught up a little bit and uh, also they gave me a really nice gift in addition to the dog they gave me this which let me tell you is amazing they were able to locate a full package of toilet paper not only that but my favorite brand it's not a paid endorsement by any means but I do like Charmin it's the most comfortable on my booty <laughs> So at any rate, we just kind of shot the shit for a little bit. Not much, just caught up. 
see how they're doing, see how I'm doing, and um, we went on our merry way. And on the way home, I took a little video montage of Gunner and uh, his little ride. And then when I got home, I sat there and talked to him and asked him if he wanted to help me with the vlog. So here's my little video and I, I hope you enjoy it. yesterday. I'm just gonna sit here and watch me. It's not a bad thing. Needless to say, he's my little buddy. He's getting up there in age. He turns 13 this year in July, but he's still going pretty strong. His breath stinks. His teeth are rotted. I can't really take him in because, you know, you don't want to put him to sleep to pull the teeth or clean him because it might be too traumatic for him. So I just live with it. He just stinks. He can still eat and chew, but it's getting to where before too long, he's gonna have to go to soft foods and we'll see how that runs. But for now, He's doing all right. So at any rate, I don't have much else for you other than yesterday I did kind of get a wild hair and I decided to do another little painting. It's a much smaller format. It's about a two foot by three foot, maybe not quite that big. I decided to go a different route. I went similar painting style, but I did all kind of one direction or bi-directional, I guess, but it wasn't random. It was just a horizontal lines and I did it mostly white. So, so what I did was this was an old painting that I had. It was one of the original ones I did. It was really ugly. It was brown on the sides yellow in the middle, had paint splatter on it, some circles like the other paintings I've done, and it was just really ugly. It sat in my closet for probably four or five years. I didn't really know what to do with it. I finally covered it up. So what I did, I painted the whole thing white. I painted it thick because I wanted it to have dimension to it. And then when I put the other colors on, it helped kind of blend them in. And anyways, this is what I come up with. And uh, that was my fun yesterday. Other than that, I've just sat on the couch and binge watched Ozark on Netflix. I don't know if you're familiar with the show. It's kind of a dark, kind of slow, but you can't stop watching it. I'm on season two now. Each episode is like an hour long and there's 10 episodes a season. So as you can imagine, that's 30 hours of video. Uh, it, I didn't take it lightly. It's taken a lot to get through it. But I decided to take a break, do this vlog, and yeah, that's what I'm doing. So back to what I was saying earlier about I wanted to go get some film and whatnot this week. I have many ideas that I want to try and at least get a good start on this week or this next two weeks. I have a series that I want to do. I have um, some video I want to do about my vehicle, kind of a vehicle review, ownership, you know, having it for a year and a half, what my feelings are on the vehicle. And I want to do some scenery. A lot of migratory birds are coming back right now. They're the eagles. Oh my gosh, the eagles the bald eagles they're all over the place right now I want to go see if I can try and get some video of them or some really good pictures um, the snow is melting stuff's just barely starting to kind of turn trees are just barely starting to bud I figured what the heck I can't do much else why not go enjoy nature and so that's my plan for this week but at any rate that's all I have for this week not much going on I'm just gonna take her easy and try and get some home projects done and like I said some videos and we'll just see what happens until next vlog I hope you all are staying safe out there and everything's going well and always remember if you like this video please hit the like button and if you're uh, on YouTube and or you have a Google account you can create a YouTube account and you can subscribe to my videos and as I post them you can click the little notification icon it's a little bell and it'll let you know when I create new videos other than that um, as always I appreciate everything you guys do and I hope you enjoyed this and until the next time we'll see you later thank you bye